Paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. Oh man, you totally got me. <laughs> paper, paper scissors. Oh. Oh, hi there! Hi, we didn't see you. Hey, I am Taffy from Alliance Theater Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. This is my mother, Mars. Do you wave and say hi? And today we are going to be telling you a story from a book. It's a really good book, but we're not just going to read it. We're going to act it out, make some movements, That's and right. actually make some noises. That's right, but not just us. You can too. Would you like to help us? That's uh, excellent. They want to help us. Okay. So the first thing we have to do before we start moving is we have to get ready with our bodies because we are actors. Can you make a pose like an actor? Oh, that's really good. Actors use their bodies and their voices and their imaginations to do all kinds of things and we're going to be using those today while we tell our story. It's called Click Clack Moo. How's that type? It's such a good book and our friends are with permission from Scholastic. Those are the people that do the book fairs. Yes. At the school. We like them, huh? Mm-hmm. That's do. where they, I got a lot of books. That gets a lot of books and so they are letting us do this book but we're going to get ready for our warm-up. So first thing we're going to learn is Neutral. Mars, can you show us what it looks like to stand in neutral? That's right, but our feet are a little bit apart, and we're going to look straight at the camera. So every time I say the word neutral, this is what we look like. So stand yourselves up. Go on, stand up. Okay. Oh, parents too. Parents, wait, there's a parent that's still sitting down. Should they stand up? Yes. Okay, stand up, parent. Okay, good. Now we're in neutral. That's it. They're doing good, huh? So now we're going to practice. Ready? Everybody wiggle, 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 and neutral. How is that? It's for it like freeze dance. It is. It is like freeze dance. Why don't you come a little closer to me, bud? Let's try it again. Ready? Wiggle, 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 neutral. And dance, 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 dance. You're much better at that. Dance and neutral. Man, they're Very doing good. good. They're doing so good. And now we're going to get all of our bodies ready for our acting work today. We're going to do some different moves and you can follow along. You got that? You ready? Make sure you have fun while you do it. That's right. Okay. You ready? Don't First, have no fun. Don't have no have fun. good fun. Good fun. That's right. All right. So let's stretch all the way up. Can you stretch your bodies up just like Mars? And then you're going to... Lean forward, just like you were going to touch your toes. You're just hanging down there. And now we're going to put our hands. Oh, did our shirt come undone? Excuse us. Sorry. Technical difficulties. There, oh, we're good oh, now. No, no, no. We're Let's good start now. over. We can't start over. It's keep, we're going to keep going. We can do this. Okay. Shh, ignore that part. So, we dive forward, put our hands on our knees, and look up. And then carefully go down and touch the floor. Oh, I love how you did not fall over, Mars. Great job. And now we're going to wiggle our way back up with our arms all the way up. And then bring them forward like that. Great job. So let's do all of those one after the other after the other. You guys ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so reach up. Oh, good job, you guys. And now bend forward. Nice. Now put your hands on your knees and look at the camera. Oh, hi there. Go down and touch the ground. Wiggle your way all the way back up, and your hands come down. They are really good at this. Really good. So that's one of the things actor uses are our bodies. Do you remember some of the other things I said an actor uses? Um, me a voice. That's right. And imagination. That's right. So we are going to add some voice to our movements right now. And it sounds like this. Can you copy me? Yes. And that will show them what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Ready? We start in neutral. I see you wiggling there. You get in neutral. All right, he's in neutral now. Okay, ready? We go. Splash! Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Flop! So each move has its own sound. Like, like each thing has its each 
three. That's right, one move, one noise. Let's try it all together, okay? We're in neutral. neutral. Here we go. You're getting it. Let's try it one more time. Everybody ready? Neutral. If you do it, it's good time. That's right. Neutral. <gasps> Me splash out oh, my back. Flop. <sighs> Great job, you guys. It's ending neutral. And now let's We've been moving a lot. We need to get some air in our bodies. So we're going to put our hands right here on our bellies and we're going to take a nice breath into our bellies. We're going to breathe in. We're going to let it out. Nice and quiet. Breathe in. Good job. Out. Let's do one more breath. Okay. Breathe in. And out. Wow. You guys are already doing so great. I, we are really doing good, aren't they? So good. So now that we've got our bodies warmed up and our voices warmed up. It's time to fire up our imaginations. imaginations. And we're going to do that by making some statues. And soon book time. Book time. That's right. And statues. And I'll be doing book. statues. That's right. So And noises. And noises. And they're going to do some statues as well. So here's an important thing about a statue. A statue always has both feet on the ground. And staying still. That's right, staying still, because if our statue falls over, then you will not be a statue. No, you'll be a fallen over hurt statue, and we don't want that. So let's think, if you were going to make a statue of a baseball player. Wait a minute, I didn't say go yet. Neutral. Neutral. Let's think. I'm going to make a statue of a baseball player, and I'm going to count one, two, three, and then we'll do it, okay? One, two, three. Oh, that's a good one. That's a look at Look at all their statues. I see someone that's catching the I see someone watching the baseball game. I think I even see somebody throwing the ball. Wow. Mom, I can even do that. Nice, nice, nice statue. Let's go to neutral. What about a statue? Think of a statue of a dinosaur. A dinosaur. Do you have an idea in your head? Yes. Do you have an idea in your head? Oh, you do? What about you? Do you have an idea? Oh, That's okay. just great. It is great. Okay, you ready? Let's make our statues. One, two, three. Statue. Oh, I see big dinosaurs. I see little dinosaurs. I see dinosaurs with wings. I even see dinosaur eggs. Wow, you guys have such good imaginations and neutral. Oh, wow, that, that was a, a scary dinosaur. This is my favorite one. We got one more before we do our book. You ready? Ready? Good. Let's think of a statue of a superhero. What would a statue of a superhero look like? Don't tell me. Shh, don't tell me. Put it in here. And never shout it out. And let's make our statues. Ready? You want to count this time? One, two, three. Statue. Wow. Mars, look at all their statues. <gasps> I feel so much safer right now with all those superheroes around. Don't you? Alrighty, so now that we know how to make statues and use our voices, it's time for our book. And like Mars told me, today we are going to be looking at this book. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. Wait a minute. Mars, have you ever seen a cow that types? No, it's fiction, oh. so it's not real. But is it a funny book? Yes. It's a very funny book. And the it is by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lou. And now you might have seen some other books by her you and might him. Have, but I wanna I wanna ask a question. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. What do you call the person that does the pictures in a book? What do you call that? Let me hear some answers. Oh, you got it. 
Oh, and, and you got it. You're right. Mars, what do you call the person who does illustrator. it? Illustrator. That's right. The illustrator. So what do you suppose Doreen Cronin does? What oh. did Doreen Cronin do? If this is the illustrator, what does she do? Hmm. Oh, she's an author. An author? Oh, that's she a She writes big... the words. <gasps> that's right. She writes the words. Did you guys know that? Oh, I'm so glad you did. And already we know that there are some characters in this book. Obviously, there's some, what do you see here? Oh, cows. Cows, that's right. And, oh, one of my friends said he saw a hen, a chicken. Oh, a duck. Oh, oh, that's right. Look at the, the funniest duck. one of all. The duck. Duck. All right. So and I'll be acting out some stuff while we go through. All right. So, my friend Mars, if you can go stand back there so our friends can still see you, and let's get started with our story, shall you? Click, clack, moog, how's it? I just had an idea. What? There's a part of our story that our friends could really, really help us with because we hear it a lot. This click, clack, moo happens a lot. Do Why you not you think... do the click, clack, and then you guys do a long moo? That's perfect. We'll say click, clack, and you guys will say moo. Can you do that? Let's practice. Ready? Click, click clack, clack. Good! That was yeah. so good! All right, go back to your spot, and we are ready to start our, our story. story. All right. Tell me what to add. I will. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Oh, and... Look at Farmer Brown's face. Can you all make a face like Farmer Brown? Oh, just, oh my goodness. How do you suppose Farmer Brown is feeling right now? Oh, oh Mad. frustrated? Mad? Mad? Grumpy. One of our friends said grumpy. Isn't that good? Good. <laughs> okay, let's go on. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows the type? Impossible. Click, clack. Click, clack. You guys are very good at those moves. Really good. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way! said Farmer Brown. <laughs> no electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. What does that mean, Mars, if you go it on means strike? You might be, like, you might go really mad? Or, like, um... Oh, I think one of our friends, what is that? Going on strike means you won't do any more work. So the cows are not going to do any more work. And look, they left a note on the barn door. And the bad thing is they won't... Farmer Brown will not get any milk. That's right. Look at that. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today? Cried <laughs> Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack. Mm. Click, clack. Click, clack. Good the job. Next, and very good job. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack. Click, clack. Click, clack. Good job. Cows that type, hands on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Look at him back here. He's can you, all he is, angry. Can you guys, can you stand up and make a statue of a furious Farmer Brown? Let's see your statues. One, two, three, statue. <gasps> oh, those are some pretty mad Farmer Browns. Okay, neutral. Sit yourself back down. Don't stand back up until he says. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. 
Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was the neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Wow, that is a big word, ultimatum. Have you ever heard that word? No. Words? Well, what do you suppose an ultimatum might be? Maybe it could be like, how about this, hmm. this way? Any of my friends out there have Maybe a... it could be like something like a thing like... A no. Oh, what do you think it is? Oh, you're right. An ultimatum is like a demand. Like, a demand, you like... better do this or else. Everybody say, you better do this. Ooh. They, they, they mean it. Oh, Let's find okay. out what happens, okay? Okay. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Everybody go, oh, get very anxious. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, everybody say, oh, no. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning and handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cow. They came up with a compromise. They got what they wanted and Farmer Brown got something he wanted. No more notes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come back with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. That's the... And, and what happens at the very... What do you suppose he's doing? What do you think Duck is doing? He got his diving board. That's right. And dive right he in. Did. Isn't that a fun book? Now, before we go, I have one more quick thing I want us to do. Come here, Helper Mars. As I know, our friends were paying really close attention. And we'd like to ask you some questions. Now, remember back, let's think back, think back to the beginning of our book, and don't answer the questions. Let's let our friends answer, okay? First, okay. and okay. okay. The first character that sent Farmer Brown a note that said they were cold, I'd like you to make a statue of that animal. Can you make a statue of the first animal that sent the note to Farmer Brown? One, two, three, statue! Oh, there we go, and there's, and there, and there's one, and there's one too. Oh, look at all those statues, and here's another one. And let's have my statues make a noise. What, do, what does my statue say? What does the animal say? What does it say? Moo. That's right, the first animal was a cow. Okay, let's go back to neutral. So the cows were the first. Now, what was the next animal to complain about being cold in the barn? What was the next animal? Can you make a statue of that animal? The next animal to get cold in the barn? Let's one, two, three, statue. Oh, look at, oh, look how great they look. Oh my goodness. And, and what kind of noise does this animal like? Let me hear what your animal noise is. Oh, listen to all those little chickens. Aren't they cute? Can you show me a cute little chicken noise? <laughs> That's perfect. Here's our final, final one. Is that going to be a little hard? I might be. The animal that delivered the ultimatum to the cows. I want you to walk like that animal. I want you to walk around for me like that animal. Let me see it. Go ahead. Let me see you walk. Oh, oh, there's one and there's... Oh, and there's, you're right, it was Duck. Okay, well, we're all done for today, and I think we're going to waddle our way on to our next story. So until next time, this is Taffy and my helper Mars, and we're going to say 
Click, clack, bye! It's Waddle